Well, um, my predictions from the Capital Raid video I made a couple of weeks ago. Um, predictions I made with friends and with myself and family and shit like that. Seems like it's all coming to fruition. <laughs> Um, I knew something was going to happen on Inauguration Day, especially after the um, Capitol building got raided. And luckily, the FBI knew something was going to go down as well. They pretty much told the um, state governments that you might want to hunker down and, and said, I mean, just in case protesters or protester riots start to pop off at your state capitol. 19 states, including mine, have um, already deployed National Guards out here, which is really wild to me. In other states, I'm not sure in mine, probably would have heard about it, but in other states, there have been armed protests going on as well. Hopefully that does, shit doesn't get out of hand. And, man, I just hope this rioting shit, protesting shit, or whatever you guys want to call it, doesn't last long. It's just the last thing we need in America right now is another riot because we're so fucking deeply divided already, man. It's just, it's fucked. Very, very fucked how divided we are. But that's another story for another day. Um, I'm happy the inauguration isn't happening um, in public where it usually happens because I honestly feel like with the um, fervor and passion of a Trump supporter, not even as a Trump supporter, but like, you know, one of those radical, radical Trump supporters. I'm not going to lump you. Trump. If you're a Trump supporter, I'm not going to lump you in that group. But if like one of those radical Trump supporters, you know, pull up to the inauguration, I, I feel like there have been an attempt on Joe Biden or Kamala Harris's. I mean, even both of their lives. And that's just me just pointing out the obvious. So I'm kind of happy it's happening over um, a Zoom call. No matter how much I make fun of Joe Biden or how much I don't agree with him, I really don't feel like. A loss of life is necessary for anybody in any situation. Well, not in any situation, but majority of situations, especially over politics. And with that, even if Joe Biden did get killed or Kamala Harris got killed, that will just just deepen the rift in our country. So I'm kind of happy it's not happening in public. But with the riots, I just hope those don't get too out of hand because, like I said, the last thing we need is a riot because it's just man it's just honestly just tiring to see over and over again just people storming the streets making their point the people who are more radicalized and extreme um break mold they start destroying shit they start causing chaos and that was just guess what's shown in the media because i feel like you know i understand why um the capitol building was Raided. I understand. Not no. Let me let me let me backtrack. I understand why they um pulled up on the Capitol building. I understand that 110 percent um voters fraud. That was probably one of their main biggest reasons. Um, they wanted um a recount or whatever. Which it's America, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, you know. But it's always going to be that radical group that will always break um break mold and just you know, cause some damage, even with Black Lives Matter, even though I want to give a nice little funny parallel, well, not parallel, but um, hypocrisy in a minute, but even with Black Lives Matter, as a black man, uh, the, the message was, the message was right, the message they gave was all right, and, but it's always people that will, you know, always fuck it up for the whole bunch and ruin it for everybody, and that happens in both scenarios. Which is ironic because it's just funny how the Trump supporters now or the more right-leaning people are like, man, those Black Lives Matter protests or riots, man, they don't even need to be doing that shit, bro. Shit's out of pocket. Shit's unnecessary. And now it's just like left-leaning people and, you know, people who are part of Black Lives Matter. And just know these are just really general, general, like, groupings. But they're like, man, they don't need to be protesting or rioting. What the hell? It's just the hypocrisy of both. They just, how they just flip-flopped on um, rioting and protesting and how everyone did, which is kind of funny. But I'm just hoping just the transfer of power goes peacefully, man. Because if anything starts to pop off, like I said, my biggest fear right now isn't Joe Biden or Kamala Harris getting killed. Like I, I, I hope they don't. I hope they don't get killed or anything like that because someone feels like 
so strongly about politics they were willing to take another person's life even though it's happened in the past a couple times with um jfk abraham lincoln people like that people feel so strongly about politics they feel like killing the president or anyone in politics would be appropriate but my biggest fear is a civil war which is um a scary thought to have because that's this really this really pick your side and live with it and that with this or against this mentality is going to be very strong in some people and a lot of senseless bloodshed and rioting and killings and shit like that so I just hope this inauguration goes as smooth as possible because like, like I said civil war biggest fear but I don't know honestly I really don't have that much faith in America I wouldn't even be surprised if we got plunged into a civil war within the next couple of months like I just really don't have that much faith in America at right now um but you know it's it truly is what it is at this point just me just hoping for the best for America and hopefully um we can somehow fix this mess and just bring it all back together because just so much hatred in this country right now not even just from like oh the racists the, the, the nazis the alt-right or whatever it's just the hatred just from people for beliefs and values they hold it's it's crazy and i know i was talking about to talk about the inauguration like oh boy what happened there but i kind of swerved off into a little rant which just shit that's been on my mind for a while and shit that's maybe been on your mind or just other people's minds for the past couple of months even the past year because i've been having these thoughts for like the past year that something like this was going to happen like all this all this hatred and back and forth on side to side someone was going to step up and do some wild shit eventually but you know all i can just say man is just you know stay safe and fuck <laughs> just stay safe man and this is me out and telling you once again that if a civil war is to happen switching to your sidearm is faster than reloading god bless and be safe big dog